It was on this day in 1982 that the first roller skating while carrying a boombox member of Congress was elected when James Sugar Boots Franklin narrowly won New York's 8th congressional seat. Franklin's victory was a watershed moment at the time, signaling that America's burgeoning population of boombox carrying roller skaters had finally gained mainstream acceptance. We prove Congress isn't just for suits and crew cuts. Say hello to the slickest legislator on eight wheels, James Sugar Boots Franklin. Franklin was an unlikely pioneer, a street smart skater who admitted to being more concerned with impressing honeys with his silky smooth moves than with politics. But as Franklin became more engaged in the roller skating dude community, his eyes were open to the harmful depictions of roller skaters in television and film. Franklin began organizing boombox carrying roller skaters, advocating for basic rights like roller skate accessible ramps in government buildings and protected street lanes where they could lay down cones for some sweet slaloming. Just because we like to roll it out and have a smooth, fluid style that cannot be denied doesn't mean we aren't Americans. Yeah, that's right. Franklin campaigned vigorously and after a tough fight made it to Congress, where he continued his crusade not just for roller skaters, but for all Americans. I'm not here to jive you. I only ask that you consider the importance of H.R. 4531, which would increase funding to early education centers for all children. And with that, I thank you and yield the remainder of my time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to boogie. Unfortunately, Franklin was forced to resign after he was caught spray painting his tag on the Washington Monument.